Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be talking about Mac Jones and what he brings to the table in the NFL uh, in a Mac Jones film session. Before we get started though, please drop a quick like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. That would help my channel grow. With that said, let's dive right into the video and I hope you enjoy. So when we talk about Mac Jones, we got to start with that 2020 season where he you know he played really, really well. 4,494 passing yards, 41 touchdowns, four interceptions, 76.6% completion percentage. And sure, I mean, he was at Alabama with a great team around him, and he all he had to do was kind of sit there and throw the ball accurately, and, you know, production was there. But Mac Jones, I mean, he, he was able to do that, and I think that he could be a really good pocket passer in the NFL. Doesn't really have a great amount of mobility. We'll talk about that in today's film session, but overall, I mean, Mac Jones and what he was able to do with that accuracy, I think this guy is deathly accurate, um, and that can be something that could be really big for him in the NFL. Now, though, let's talk about him in the film session. So I kind of hinted at it already, but Mac Jones is one of his biggest assets is his, uh, you know, it's his accuracy in those underneath routes, uh, those shorter, more intermediate passing routes. And we're going to see Jalen Waddle here in the slot. And he's going to kind of run uh, one of these kinds of routes. Um, and Jones is going to basically just sit back. He's going to drop back. And he's going to feel the pressure. He's going to feel the pressure. He's going to take a little bit of a hit. But he's going to be accurate with his football. And he has to be because it's third and seven. It's it's a game situation. you got to be accurate here. you got to be put the ball in the money and this is exactly where the ball is it's a perfect spot in a great area realizes there's separation here realizes there's a place to throw into here and realizes he can put that money uh, that ball in the dot especially with the pressure in his face that's something he's going to see a, a lot of in the nfl especially because he's not super mobile so there's going to be pressure at him um and here he's able to fire under pressure and throw an absolute dart for a touchdown and this is a play where I don't really want to show you the overall play, but Mac Jones, basically, he can throw the deep ball too. And in this situation, he's going to just fling this ball a mile in the air, um, and it's going to be caught by Jalen Waddle. But I just, want to, I just want to show you something about the ball placement here. Um, a lot of the great things that Mac Jones was able to do was because he played with, you know, Devontae Smith and Jalen Waddle. Um, so some of the things and some of the throws he makes um, and some of the completions and highlight reel uh, plays that he makes are because of his receivers making big plays. And I think this is one of those situations where, you know, he probably doesn't make this play in the NFL. He probably, you know, I don't think he has that great accuracy, uh, not, not necessarily that great accuracy, but that great arm strength deep downfield. He doesn't have that great arm strength deep downfield. I'm not saying he can't make those throws. We'll see it in today's video where, you know, he's able to make those throws. But I don't think he's able to make those throws as well as Zach Wilson or Trevor Lawrence or some of the other big name uh, quarterbacks from, from, from this draft. So overall, this is just a play where, you know, the ball is kind of just out there and the receiver has to go make a big grab uh, in traffic where, you know, if he might have, you know, anticipated a little bit better and tried to get the ball around here, he would have been able to put in a better spot and not really have the safety to come into play. That's obviously something that's going to come to play in the NFL where the game's faster, the, the players are faster, the speed is just up there. And um, I think that, you know, this is, it ends up being a good throw. I mean, it's, 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 it's a big play, but I don't think he'd have this kind of success in the NFL um, because of, you know, just that's not a great throw into a great place. Like, it's just, it's kind of out there and like, it's just the receiver has to go out, make a dive and grab for it. And it's, it's just, he probably has to be a little bit better deeper downfield and a little bit more selective rather than kind of just pushing this one, especially when he's got this to the outside too. So it's, 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 um, this is a play where, you know, you can still see he has that ability to throw the ball downfield, but it's a little bit questionable. It's not quite, you know, the 10 out of 10 that Trevor Lawrence has or Zach Wilson has. Um, and, and the real is just, you know, we know they're going to, they're gonna, we know they're going to succeed downfield. Mac Jones is going to succeed, is he's going to succeed downfield. But um, he's definitely going to need the help of his receivers a little bit, or at least that was the case at Alabama. So next up, this is a play where Mac Jones, it's definitely him making a great play downfield. You're gonna, he's going to see one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. He's going to anticipate that. He's going to know his receivers running a deep, deep route, and there's space to the outside. Um, and once again, it's, I mean, it's a third and eight play, and he's simply just dropping back in the pocket. And this is a great thing I love to see from Mac Jones. He, it's the anticipation here, too, because he sees that there's not a ton of separation there. But he realizes his receiver a little bit faster. He can get to the outside a little bit better. And he realizes there's space in behind, and he simply fires that ball into that space, puts it on the money, really nice, accurate throw deep downfield, and that's a touchdown. I mean, that's just an overall great throw, great play, um, and great read by Mac Jones, making the right play decision um, and just firing it all, on all cylinders there. Really nice play there by Jones. Um, and it's it's not, I mean, he's he's got the ability to throw the ball downfield, and this is one of those plays where we can see that. And I know I kind of hated on him a little bit earlier, saying that, you know, the Alabama receivers were helping him. But, you know what, I mean, he still can make the throws downfield. Like, he still can do that. So I just want to show you that. I mean, like, 
Jones steps back, you know, fires that ball. This 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 ball doesn't have a ton of power, but it, that's 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 a ball with touch. And you see, once again, not a ton of separation. But this ball location is so close, and it's it's in a perfect spot for for the receiver for him to go out and and make a good play on it. I mean, it's 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 all about location and accuracy, and that's what Mac Jones has. He's got the accuracy downfield. He's got that ability to fire it deep down there and and make a big play. And and overall, this is just a really nice play here by Mac Jones. He puts the ball in a right in in, in the right spot for his receiver to go out and make a, a finger finger tap save i mean um, finger tap uh finger finger tip of the fingertip catch that's what i was trying to say there we go took me a while uh but overall like really good job here by mac jones like this is this is exactly where the ball needs to be it's in a perfect spot and that's a touchdown Another thing I like about his game is he's got the touch on those deeper throws, too. It's not just about the power. It's also the touch. Here, it's going to be one-on-one. -on -one, the bottom of your screen, Devontae Smith at the bottom. He's just going to outrun the corner. And you're simply just going to see Mac Jones step back, anticipate that, and simply just toss it up there. And Devontae Smith is fast. There's open space here. Devontae Smith will just run into that and catch that for a touchdown. It's really that simple. Like, I mean... Devon, I mean, Mac Jones can throw the deep ball too. Like he can throw the deep ball with with, with power, with touch, with accuracy, and that's why he's really good because he's a pocket passer that gets the ball out quickly and makes the right reads. And this is one of those situations where he simply just makes the right read. It, it's just that simple. And once again, I love the anticipation for Mac Jones. It's it's just it's right here. It's going to be the running back just coming outside. It's a little bit of a wheel route. Jones realizes that he doesn't really have anywhere to go the ball. I mean, this is kind of all clogged up. He sees the running back over here, and as the running back leaks out, he simply just kind of fires it up there, just puts it up there for the first down, puts it in a really good spot, too, the back shoulder for the running back to, you know, kind of use his body to protect that. I think that's Najee Harris. Yeah, it's going to be Najee Harris. And Najee Harris simply just goes up and grabs it. Really nice play here, showing off his receiver skills. But also, this is just a great ball location from Mac Jones. Once again, it's the back shoulder. He's protecting that football by throwing it to that shoulder because the defender can't get to it. And then that's a first down because of that anticipation, knowing that, you know, there's there's room to throw that ball into and trusting his guy to go up and make a play. And that's that's what Mac Jones did at Alabama. He trusted his, his, his options, trusted his targets, and relied on his accuracy downfield to get the job done. And that's what he does here. And this is an NFL level throw. This is a pinpoint throw. And this is what Mac Jones does. This is what he does. Uh, you know, drops back. Uh, and it's basically going to be Devontae Smith coming here, sees a linebacker, there's a corner there, it's going to be a tight window, and simply Mac Jones sees that, anticipates that, and fires that into a small area. I mean, this is not a big window. This this might look like a big window, but this window is only going to get smaller in, in the NFL, and for Mac Jones to really have the power to fit that there um, for a touchdown really just shows you what he's all about. You know, I mean, this, this is an absolute perfect throw. Sits back in the pocket, waits, sees the defense, sees there's a tiny hole right here for, for him to just put that ball into and just fires it with speed, with accuracy, um, and with precision for a touchdown. That's what a, that's what a, that's what a, a pocket a passer needs to do. And because Mac Jones is a pocket passer, doesn't have that great, you know, speed and that great mobility, uh, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Um, that's, I mean, these are the kinds of plays and kinds of throws he, he needs to make, and these are the kinds of throws that he can make. So finally, let's talk about his mobility. I mean, this guy isn't super mobile. He's he's, he's kind of like in the regard of quarterbacks in the NFL. I mean, he's he has the ability to run, but he doesn't like use that as one of his like things, okay? So he's not, he doesn't have the mobility of Zach Wilson. He doesn't have the mobility of Trevor Lawrence. He doesn't, he's, he's, a, he's in a way kind of like Tom Brady. Um, in the in in the way that you know, if he has to move, he can move, and he could probably throw on the run. But that's not his game. But nonetheless, he can still show you some mobility here. Play breaks down, right? There's really nowhere to go with the ball. Steps up and simply just uses his legs to get outside the pocket and 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 make a move. And I mean, he's not super fast, but you know, at that point, he knows that he needs to go down. Probably needs to work on a slide a little bit. Uh, but overall, just goes down to the ground. But he can pick up some yardage. I mean, he could get out of pressure, get out of bad situations with his legs. He doesn't have terrible mobility. I mean, but he's he's got the mobility to just extend plays and not get sacked, uh, which is you know important for a pocket passer. And I think that this complements well with his arm too. So it's not it's not all about the mobility when I talk about these young quarterbacks. But it's also the ability to just know when you got to move. And this is something that Mac Jones knows. I mean, there's pressure in his face. There's nowhere to go with the football. Why don't I just go out and move? Goes out, runs for a first down, nice little, you know, 12, 14-yard pickup, uh, and picks up a first down.
So at the end of the day, with Mac Jones, I mean, I really like his game. At the end of the day, he's a pocket passer that can throw the ball with accuracy deep downfield. I don't think he has an elite arm. He's got a solid arm that can really expand the field, and he really knows where to put the ball. He knows where it needs to be, and those are the things he needs to do, Um, and at, especially at the NFL level where, you know, the game gets faster, everything becomes smaller, tighter windows, but I think Mac Jones can do that with his arm because he's really accurate with the football. He doesn't have super power. Uh, with his with that arm, he doesn't have like elite power or elite arm strength, but I think he's got a good enough arm to the point where, uh, you know, he can with his accuracy too and with his mechanics, because uh, he's got pretty good mechanics too. Um, he can really fit balls in, into tight windows and make big plays. And then we talk about his mobility. He doesn't have great mobility. It's not a mobile quarterback, but if the play breaks down and he needs to run outside the pocket, he can do that. So overall, I really like his game. I really like what he brings to the table. Um, and I think that, you know, as a pocket passer in the NFL, he can find some success. And with that said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.